Large pots are great for planting things, but they have a wide variety of other uses too. Today I'm going to show you how I turned an old pot into the coolest feature in my garden. This portion of this video is sponsored by FilterBy. I spend a lot of time in this craft room and I want to be comfortable while I work. When I first bought my home, I learned a lot about maintaining good air quality. Did you know that you should replace the filter in your system every three months? That was news to me. This helps maintain clean air in your home and keep it free from pollutants and allergens. That's why I like FilterBy. With FilterBy, you'll find affordable, quality replacement filters online in over 600 sizes to match exactly what you need for your home. You can buy one filter or a whole pack to keep on hand. FilterBy even has a subscription program that will send you filters when you need them, which makes this whole schedule process really simple. All products at FilterBy are made in America, and you will always get free shipping on your order. A clean, comfortable craft room and home are so important to me. FilterBy helps me maintain clean indoor air. You can head over to FilterBy and check out their selection today. Order a few filters or help yourself get on that three month schedule. Thanks to FilterBy for sponsoring that part of my video. Now back to my regular content. Now I'm gonna add some decoration to this. I'm just using some craft paint in white and a soft green, and I'm painting some geometric shapes on it. You can really get creative here and paint whatever you want on the side of this pot. Once that white paint has dried, I'm gonna go back with a soft green and add some branches. When the paint is dry completely, I need to seal this. So whether you're using a plastic pot or a clay pot, you really wanna seal it so that paint doesn't get ruined. So I'm just going to take this outside and put a nice coat of clear sealer on here, something that's going to adhere to plastic really well. Now that everything's dry, it's time to assemble this bird bath. So I'm going to put this outside near some bushes. I've got some flowering plants over here as well, so it's going to be a great place for birds. I'm going to start with the large pot upside down. On top of it, I'm going to put a clay saucer. Definitely opt for the clay here, don't use plastic, because you want something heavy that's going to really stay put. In that saucer, I'm going to place another small little terracotta pot. Again, I'm going to use clay for this one and place it upside down. Now, birds and butterflies, some of them are attracted to bright colors, so I'm going to add some decorative stones to the bottom here. I want to make sure that they're big enough that they're not going to, that a bird's not going to eat them, a little critter's not going to take them, so make sure they're good sized stones. I'm just going to put a single layer down in the saucer. Then, to attract the birds even more, I'm going to add a second little tiny saucer on top of this pot, fill it up with some bird seed. And finally, we're going to add some water, and our bird bath is done. This is a great way to use up that old plastic pot that I had and just adding a few more pieces. I've got a bright, colorful spot in an otherwise very green garden here. It's going to attract birds and butterflies and it's a great work of art. I hope this inspired you to grab a few pots and saucers and create a birdbath for your garden.